Back in 2021, our cities guzzled over two thirds of the world's energy. The sectors most responsible for carbon emissions in 2021 were buildings and also transport. Cities around the world, from Kolkata to Reykjavik, introduced clean buses and trains running on electricity and hydrogen. And New York retrofitted insulation, dramatically reducing energy consumption in its old iconic buildings. Believe it or not, it was actually dense cities that helped us to meet our decarbonization goals. Those that allowed people to live closely to where they work and where they play, and then powering those from clean and renewable energy sources like wind and solar power. One city had limited land to generate renewable energy. So they pioneered new solutions to reduce energy use in buildings. Singapore. Professor Cheong Kun Hien was the first woman to run Singapore's Urban Development Agency. Temperatures were getting warmer and this really drove people to use a lot of air conditioning and that meant that there were high carbon emissions. Buildings like the Kampung Admiralty were designed to maximise natural ventilation. We found that we only needed to put in 50% of the air conditioning capacity. I love the way the architect had visioned it. I mean, seriously, the architect, like, 10 stars. <laughs> Next, Singapore created a 150 kilometer shaded cycling network. We also provided an extensive green bus network and also an extensive mass rapid transit system. In some areas, they also required new buildings to have vegetation planted up their walls and on their roofs. Plants cool buildings, not only by providing shade, but also by releasing water into the air. Dr. Liang studies the cooling effects of urban greenery. With a thermal imager, we can see that the surface temperature of a building cladded with metal is about 42 degrees Celsius. Whereas at a Oasis Hotel with its facade of greenery, it is about 28 degrees Celsius. This truly green solution was adopted all over the world. And by 2045, we were living in net zero cities. Clever urban planning, improvements to transport infrastructure, and new technologies in the building sector.